yes hello students welcome back in our previous video we have been preparing halo alkenes using different reagents like your halogenation pcl3 pcl5 socl2 and all these now let us see one question which is a bit different but very easy to answer if i understand the concept now in our previous video we have prepared rcl using thionyl chloride isn't it so now let us see this question they have given us y is <coughs> TSCl, what does it stand? Paratoline sulfonyl chloride. Compound is given. Plus, just just read the question. Nothing to write or draw the structure. And MSCl methane sulfonyl chloride not preferred compared to thionyl chloride in presence of pyridine for conversion of ROH to RX. Question is big, but answer is very simple. Let us see. Now. First of all, let me write. It is this is ROH done. Now I have picked up thionyl chloride done. Now this reaction occurs in the presence of pyridine. <coughs> pyridine. Yes, pyridine. Now we already know whenever thionyl chloride is used, the byproduct or the byproducts which are obtained both are gaseous in nature. So this is going to be, we get RCl, then we get gaseous products that is SO2 vapor and your HCl also as vapor. This is done. But now question is what happens if I use this or this in the reaction? Let's see what is going to happen. ROH if I take, if I take <coughs> instead of SOCl2, I am going to use TSCl. Yes, instead of SOCl2. So let me be clear in writing. So what did I do? ROH plus TSCl. That is your toluene sulfonyl chloride and I am using pyridine in this. So your pyridine is here. What's going to happen instead of forming the gaseous products and HCl and instead of forming RCl which I want this TSCl immediately it's going and going to block this alkyl group. How does it come? What? How does it look like? It becomes ROTS. Yes, your instead of forming as a gaseous products, this toluene sulfonyl chloride, it's going to block this part. Now, what is left now? This is going to block. So, left out is H and the left out is Cl, isn't it? Now, directly what did I do here? SO2 and HCl done and RCl I prepared. But here what happens is your pyridine whatever is here or in the presence of pyridine, this pyridine is going to neutralize this HCl. How does it look? It becomes or this pyridine ring, whatever you have here N and HCl. This is going to neutralize HCl. It immediately neutralizes HCl. So are we getting the required product RCl? No. So here with thionyl chloride comfortably I am getting RCl and gaseous products. But with TSCl I am not getting because TS or toluene sulfonyl chloride is blocking the alkyl group and not allowing the re uh, release of OH- and your pyridine whatever is there is neutralizing HCl and not allowing it to escape. Let us see with your MSCl. ROH plus MSCl again in the presence of pyridine remember pyridine very important so it is going to get ROMS plus and your pyridine is going to block that HCl whatever is there and and not allowing it to form the required product that is the reason MSCl and TSCl are not preferred for preparing RCl thionyl chloride is the safest and economic method or economical method for preparing alkyl halides as both are gaseous products thank you for watching